Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibzy7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 vlog here on my RS3 main account. Going to be talking a little bit about some PVM related things in this one, um, but I also wanted to talk briefly about the double XP weekend which was announced because they did just announce another double XP weekend, which is pretty standard. I think they have it every like February ish and every September ish, so this one is going to be on the weekend of September the 15th I believe let me double check that on the home page yes it begins 15th of September so that is uh, pretty cool that they're doing another double XP weekend gonna help me out on getting towards my max cape um, so yeah it starts at uh, on the 15th at uh, 12 UTC and ends on the 18th at 12 UTC so Pretty decent length of time there for some good uh, XP and definitely going to be doing um, as many tree runs as I can during that and I'll probably be doing crafting because that's the most expensive skill I have left um, so that's probably what I'm going to do pr uh, first at least during that weekend. I don't really know what else I'm going to do after I get crafting because I will surely be able to get 99 crafting during the weekend before it ends. but. Um, yeah, uh, as far as max cape progress goes, I haven't really made much progress on Hunter at all, um, but you guys will know why uh, during this video, so that's why. But uh, I'm going to probably be getting 90 farming during this farm run, and I am one siphon off 97 invention, which is pretty cool. So, as far as the PVM stuff goes that I wanted to talk about, um, I have been going for max cape for a little while now, and I've pretty much been sticking with the skilling, haven't been doing much PVM if any aside from the occasional raid if my clan is going um, but yeah I did get the Acto Primeval Gloves I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in a previous video but I'm just mentioning it again to make sure um, I have two pieces of Acto now including the range and the mage gloves at the moment so that is pretty good it's been a really long dry streak uh, for me at raids o over 40 combined kills of Beastmaster and Yaka dry. Uh, there's 90 farming. Pretty cool. Nice to hit 90 in that skill. Um, but yeah, over 90 combined kills. Or not 90. Sorry, I got confused there. Uh, over 50 combined kills, maybe. Probably not, actually, but maybe over, definitely over 40 combined kills of Beastmaster and Yaka, and I did not get any more acto than the one that I got from my first kill of Yaka, so... Um, not the best, but I'm glad to finally get my second piece, and hopefully I, it won't be so bad from here on out. Um, I just, it's, I really don't like the way that raids is done, and like, the, I think a perfect way for the raids to work is leave the system pretty much as it is, except make it so that even if you're not getting actual loot, you still have the chance to get acto. Like, you don't get any regular drops, but if you just camp it, you still have the chance to get acto armor for the kills. I think that would make perfect sense, and it would be, like, completely fine, and they just should do that, just so it's not so ass getting acto. Um, because just having to do it every two days, just, I don't know, I don't like the system at all. Um, so I really wish they would change it, and I'm not on normal magics. Got to switch really quick, but, um, yeah. I have been doing some PVM in the past few days because my friend Alex, who I talk about sometimes, he, um, he actually went ahead and got a death task, which I should be doing more often, honestly. I have actually started doing them now that I am getting sort of back into PVM a little bit. But um, he got a death task of Telos, and we were on Skype while he was doing it and screen sharing, uh, and I was watching him do Telos, and uh, I don't know what it was, but just watching him do it just kind of gave me an itch to go try some Telos myself, because I, as you guys probably have seen, I got an orb set from Telos uh, a while ago. That's what gave me the money to get my Max Cape stuff, but... Um, yeah, I basically wanted to try and, you know, go for some Telos. I wasn't going to do too much of it. Um, I just wanted to go there for, you know, maybe a sh one streak or just to make sure I wasn't too rusty uh, at the boss and just get back into it a little bit, but not really go too hard at it. Because um, I still wanted to, of course, be going for Maxcape as I uh, 
as I have been talking about all this time. But I um, I went on my streak, and my first streak uh, of the like of the telos that I was doing, I managed to get an orb. So that was pretty crazy. I mean, I wasn't like expecting anything really, um, but yeah, I managed to actually get an orb on my. Or no, actually, it might have been my second streak that I did because I'm, I, I was, like, doing a lot of it. for. I, I just was, like, basically it was this Sunday, this past Sunday, and it was my last day before work. And I was, like, okay, I'm just going to take this day just to, like, you know, camp some Telus just for fun, just to see. Maybe I'll get, like, a, sa a staff. Um, and it's, like, my last day as a free man before I get... <laughs> into the real working world. So I decided I would camp some Telos for just that day. And uh, I did my first streak. I didn't get anything. And then the second streak I did, I went up only on an 11 streak from 0 to 122%. And I managed to get an orb of pure anima um, on that kill. So that was pretty insane. I wasn't like expecting it at all. It just sort of came out of the blue. And I managed to get it. So. Um, I was like, well, shit, that's pretty sweet. I was, uh, I, I was pretty happy with it, and it was still not too, like, far into the day, really. So I was like, okay, well, I can keep, I can claim this, do another streak, just, you know, still hoping kind of for a staff. I was just kind of like, not too excited about that orb because, you know, you do need three to complete the set. So I started my next streak, and I get around to my eleventh kill of that streak, same kill as I got my orb from the last one, and I got another orb. So on my eleventh kill of the streak of uh, of that streak as well I got an orb of volcanic anima 129% in rage on an 11 kill streak so um, pretty insane luck there like a back to back orb on two different streaks and, and they were both like really early on like only 122% and 129% uh, so really really lucky and <laughs> that was pretty crazy so I was like okay well now I'm pretty much forced in to stay with Telos for you know and then just smash out this last orb because I know I should probably just be like you know I can come back and get it later but my thinking is like you know I don't know what the weapons prices are going to end up like in like you know a little bit like a couple months or however long it takes me to max so I was pretty much I pretty much decided well I basically have to camp Telos now until I can get that final uh, orb, uh, the orb of corrupted anima because I really didn't want to wait and just have the prices crash on me or something so I decided yeah I'm gonna camp it and um, since then that was on my kill count 274 of uh, of Telos and after that I did a pretty big streak uh, 25 streak up to 277 percent in rage from zero um, and I didn't get anything and then after that I did another streak from zero this one I went all the way up to 305 percent in rage and I it was a 29 kill streak didn't get anything then after that I tried starting at a hundred and I um, I died after like three kills because I wasn't really caring because I don't know I sort of like if I go from zero I get like super focused when I get to a hundred because Going from 0 to 100 sucks. It's like so boring and you just know you're not going to get a drop and you just do it just to get the like the chance, the better chance, I guess. But yeah, I died <laughs> after a four kills or three kills on that streak. So I tried again. I just like whatever. I don't really care. Started again at 3 at 100% in rage and I went on a 15 kill streak up to 268%. <laughs> didn't get anything and I decided I'll, I'll give zero a shot again because 100 didn't work for me there. So I went from zero all the way up to 250% in rage on a 24 streak and I didn't get anything. So it has been 96 Telos kills since my orb and I know I got pretty lucky with the back-to-back -back streak but uh, I've kind of been grinding this for quite a few days now pretty much every day since Sunday so the past three days Monday, Tuesday, and today, Wednesday, I've been grinding this Telos uh, and hopes to get my last orb. Here's my two orbs right here, pure and volcanic anima. This is just the loot from my recent streak that I just claimed. Uh, I don't have all the loot from all of the Telos I've been doing in here. Um, I usually just sell it off pretty much as I get it because I don't really have any reason to keep this loot tab going or anything. but. 
Yeah, I've uh, I've kind of hit a slump here. I mean, I was on fire at the at the start there because on 2:30 KC I got my dormant god bow, or which was annoying. Well, on 2:25 I got my last orb of my first set. 2:30 I got Saren god bow, which annoyed me. But uh, and then 2:63 I got my first orb of this set, and then 2:74 I got my second orb. So. I kind of have hit a pretty long dry streak for me, I guess. I've been pretty lucky at Telos, but I would really just love like to see this um this orb set finished with and just like so I can, you know, say I'm taking like, you know, I'm going for max, I'm done with this boss now. Like in a way I almost wish I never got the orbs because it's wasted me so much time on my way to max at this point, but I'm I'm really hoping I can finally get this last one so I can finish off this set, make a clean bill or so, and then just get back on my max cape grind. And uh, after I do get max cape, I am most likely going to do some more racks. I might go for the 1k racks tab, um, something I've been thinking about doing. Um, I just wish racks was more rewarding the higher in rated it was, that would make racks so much better. Um, at least with the rare drops just maybe increasing as you're in range with them, but, um, yeah, Telos has basically had me by the nuts for the past few days because of this, uh, these orb luck that I got, so, um, now that I've ended this last streak, I'm thinking about just camping, like, the highest in rage that I can really feasibly do consistently, which would probably be, like, 270-ish, um, and just claiming every kill because as far as I know the rare drops are based solely on enrage and your streak doesn't affect it That's just as far as I know. I don't really you know, I'm not a hundred nobody knows a hundred percent I don't think but I'm pretty sure the rare drops are based solely on enrage and the streak Just means you get more common of the common drops like if you go on a streak like you can just see I'll, my notepad right here like I start the streak my second kill I get 111 adamant bars but then later on in the streak I get like almost 300 so that's what the streak does I'm pretty sure but um, the enrage is what gives you the better chance at getting a rare drop I don't think the streak affects that at all that's why some people camp 999 percent and just claim every kill um, obviously, I don't know. I've, I've tried doing my, my own, my current highest in rage is only, uh, like 342, I think. Um, yeah, my highest in rage is 342. I've tried 347 quite a few times and, um, I don't know. I just get destroyed during the regular parts of the kill. And then by the time I get to P5, I have like no food. I don't know. Like just his right, like it's not the specs that hurt me too bad. It's like just his regular attacks. I just get smashed. I don't know. I don't know if I just need Acto, but, or like better, better weapons or something. But for some reason, I just struggle super hard with, uh, with pushing in rage at this point. So I might try camping like somewhere from 250 to 300, just maybe for like 20 kills or something and try and get it. If that doesn't work, maybe go back to streaking. I don't know. I just really hope I can get this last orb, um, but I did want to make this video just talking about this because it's pretty crazy little PVM luck that I had, and uh, you know, kind of like a little bit of a detour off the road to my max cape. So, yeah, hopefully I can get this orb and then get back on that road um, before too long. But um, yeah, one other thing I wanted to mention: um, Jagex has fucked us again with the polls um you know i kind of got a sense for it when they let it drop for a day last week now this week they just have no polls going on at all so yep they say they're going to keep up with all the poll stuff and they just don't i really it's really disappointing and this poll has been here for i don't even know how long it's just been like not updated because they only had two polls last week so good job to them they're just not really uh not really keeping their word for that, um, but <coughs> whatever. I, I'm not going to harp on it too much, but either way, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you're all jelly of my pretty good luck, although I'm on a, quite a dry streak at this point, which kind of sucks. Uh, I'm really hoping I can finish off this last orb before too long, um, but yeah. Thanks for checking out the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.